Okay, as you can see here, uh, actually, um, what we try to do here is, is uh, uh, in solar power mark, uh, work together with our sister company, FarmTech Mark. Uh, we try to do an aquaponic system. Um, aquaponic system is nothing new. Uh, has been around for a decade and uh, what we try to achieve here is actually uh, normally when you do aquaponic you still require certain energy uh, to power palms, uh, water palm and air palm and even some uh, country whereby the sun uh, doesn't come out 365 days uh, they may require a grow light uh, LED grow light just to grow the uh, aquaponic system all right. Um, in here, I'm just gonna show you um, uh, two solar power mark and from tech mark. We able to develop a system that is using uh, renewable energy, such as uh, solar power, okay, uh, or wind power. But here, what we have here is actually is a solar power uh, system. Um, the solar power actually is used uh, to power a grow light. Uh, LED grow light. For instance, uh, you can see this uh, one meter long um, LED grow light. Okay, uh, to enhance the grow. Uh, even you can see that in this room, actually it is in a dark room uh, without any sunlight. Uh, but we still can grow uh, the lettuce and tomatoes uh, just using the LED grow light. The energy from the LED grow light actually come from the solar panel. All right, the solar panel will charge uh, a battery and a battery will power the uh, LED grow light. At the same time, in the aquaponic system, uh, you may require a pump, okay? A water pump uh, just to pump the water. For instance, you can see this. There is a water pump, a DC water pump, okay? Uh, we are using the brushless uh, pump, DC pump, okay, for this system. All right, and again, this is also uh, solar power, okay? And uh, you also need a pump for your fish, for example, an air bubble pump, okay? Uh, that one also a DC air bubble pump, and again, is powered by solar, all right? And probably can show you uh, the vegetable. This is the uh, lettuce. Alright, uh, it's already in three weeks. Okay, and beside it, there is uh, the tomatoes, uh, roughly about uh, in six week form. Okay, and you can see below that is the uh, aqua cray. Uh, Alright, this is one of the flat, uh, flood and drain system. Okay, flood and drain system. Okay, alright. And um, we'll tell you more in the next Our section. System, uh, we are using goldfish uh, instead of tilapia. Uh, we like goldfish more than tilapia for this project is because I think goldfish is a much uh, cuter and much uh, responsive. And um, they always, uh, you know, they always actually is used uh, as a nutrient. Uh, to grow uh, the vegetables, all right, all right, you can see it, all right. It's a harmony system, and uh, and the vegetable will take the nutrient, which is the waste of uh, the goldfish, and then cycle back uh, to the fish, and then the fish can live in a very uh, healthy uh, environment, all right. Uh, for this aquaponic project, uh, we are using a 50 watt polycrystalline uh, solar panel. 
Uh, we're slightly using a bigger uh, solar panel than usual is because um, in this lab location, uh, we only receive a half days of sunlight. Uh, due to this reason, uh, we put in roughly a slightly bigger uh, size of uh, solar uh, panel for this uh, aquaponics uh, project. Uh, using a special cabinet, okay, uh, from IKEA. All right, and this cabinet is actually where we store uh, our charge controller. All right, and as well as our battery bank. All right, so. Um, we designed this system whereby, uh, let's say, without sunlight for 12 days, uh, the battery bank is large enough uh, to power the aquaponic system, such as the lighting, uh, you know, the pump, uh, either it's water pump or air pump. So uh, this system will, you know, can, can last for 12 days without uh, sunlight. All right.